Hello, tech support guys from ASRock. This is Daniel speaking. I have a little problem to share with you. I hope you can help me out. First of all, let me introduce you to the system. This is an X399 Tai Chi motherboard, AMD Threadripper 1950X, Vega 64 graphics card, limited edition. I have built in um, 128 GB of DDR4-2666 memory, crucial ballistic sport. Actually using free hard drives with 2 terabytes of a SATA connection, a giant power supply, 1 kilowatts, Seasonic Prime Titanium, pretty awesome stuff. I discovered a problem with the M.2 connectors, um, especially it's about this guy right here, the Crucial MX300 M.2 SSD. This one is connected over SATA connection, not over PCI Express. And it only will work in the third slot. Not in the first, not in the second. It will cause the, the system to uh, not boot up and um, keep looping some postcodes right here. Um, let me show you that the system is actually running. Here, Cinebench, just for fun, you know. This really looks like Threadripper. Oh, yeah, it runs. And here is the drive information. Um, as you can see, I've also installed an NVMe drive. This works fine in all slots and there is a crucial drive. So my problem is I want to use in the system two of this SATA crucial um, drives and yeah it, it won't work. So um, let me just cut over here and show you what happens if I Disconnect all the SATA devices and the Samsung NVMe. Just put this one right there. All right, so I disconnected all my SATA drives. Just to be clear, I don't think there would be any sharing because the manual don't say this, but only, here's the Samsung, I only put the crucial right here. In the manual it says all three slots can do PCI Express, NVMe and SATA connection, so I don't get it. All right, let's turn this on and have a look what happens. It heads over to DE, AD, A2, 21, 13, 33, DE, AD, and so on and so on. It will hang here. Doesn't boot in any way. So, well, the same happens in the slot above. So, yeah. Um, to be clear, this is BIOS version P1.80, so the actual build from November of 2017. And the Crucial drive has the latest firmware installed. So I get myself, this is a 525 GB, I get myself from another PC um, the 275 GB version and an um, M.2 S uh, SATA S SATA drive um, from A Data, so I will try this out and have a look if they um, might work. So just for fun, this is the 275 gigabyte MX MX 300. Now we're in the upper slot, I think it's the number one. Turn it on, have a look. As far as I remember from my testing uh, the last weekend. Clear CMOS doesn't change anything with this behavior. So DE, AD, here we go again. 
A2. So it does not depend to the MX300 525 gigabytes. It also happens with the 275 gigabytes. Well, let's turn the system off. <coughs> Hit clear CMOS. Wait a sec. Maybe hit it again. Wait a sec. Turn back on the power supply. Boot it up. Have a look. First of all, it looks all pretty good, but there we go again. D E A D E. So on and so on. A2. 21. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's test it out with the A data drive to complete this story. Alright, 120 gigabytes A data drive. Now we're again in the Ultra um, M.2 slot number 2. And here we go again, see what happens. Absolutely nothing. So. Alright, let's try this out and this one, and I think the system will boot up. Back under the, the chain... Is, is it a chain wheel in English? I don't know. Uh, boot it up. Have a look what happens. Lights turning on. 33, 55. And it's going on. 9A, so the system is booting up actually with this slot. So let's enter BIOS if it comes right up here. Well, I clear, cleared CMOS so the, the first boot will take a sec. Here we go. Here we see what's going on. P180, my RAM configuration. And just for interest, there is the A data drive, and it says on each slot also SATA. So I, I, I guess these slots have to support the drive also. So I hope you can help me with this out. Thanks for your patience. Goodbye.